Lots of people say there's no evidence for God. There's no evidence for the resurrection of Jesus Christ. There's no way that two of every known species in the world could fit onto Noah's Ark. All consensual sex is morally good. Jesus said, don't judge. What is truth? The answer is found in that question, my friends, wrapped up in a riddle, spun as a metaphor, and delivered here today forthwith at breakneck speed. Shabam! There it is, the big kahuna, the spicy enchilada, the fizzy lifting drink, the question of the ages. Can we really call uncertain, confidence-lacking, rolling the dice, closing your eyes, ruby-clicking, rabbit-foot-rubbing, wishful thinking, hope? Under these propositions, Positions properly presented and paraphrased professor. Where's a happy-go-lucky, cheek-turning, white conservative lamb holding everybody's okay genie in a bottle Jesus? We slap on our greeting cards on Christmas and Easter. We'll call this the not a Big Bang Bing Swing, the KO to the claim that there's no evidence of God, the law of causality left hook a doom. According to the Bible, the Christian's ultimate standard, God can't lie, the Bible is God's word, and God's word is truth and ought not to be tampered with. We, 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 all the way home. You see that? The pronoun is wrong, baby. And Jesus is letting them know that. He's saying there ain't no we when it comes to salvation from the wrath of God. There's only I. I am the bread of life. I am the door. I am the resurrection of life. I am the way, the truth, the life. Nobody comes to the Father except through me. Sometimes the whole truth is in the details, you follow? Everyone around town was talking about Jesus' resurrection. People had seen him. The tomb was empty. The stone was rolled away. The guards were perplexed. The religious leaders were mystified and tried to create a lie about what happened to the body. Tamper, tamper, people. Here's a bit of history and context for clarity coming at you solo style on less than 12 parsecs. God creates a beautiful, good, sinless, and perfect universe for us to live and flourish in. We utterly destroy it by our own free will. Then we keep on committing horrible crimes against him and each other even though we know better. But he doesn't lop off our heads the minute we do something bad. He's patient with us and pursues us in love. What about the claim there is no truth? Oh, yet another statement that demolishes itself by its own standard. After all, is that claim true? If so, it's wrong. If the claim is not true, then it's true that the statement there is no truth is not true, which means there is truth, which makes the claim false. So there you have it. With just a couple of meaningful blows, the claim that there is no evidence for God is down for the count. This idea that you never have to speak out about your faith and all you have to do is live a good life and people will catch on has been debunked, debunked, debunked. In other words, it's been debunked, debunked. Adios.